I am from Baltimore, Maryland. Uh, I love the East Coast. I miss it very much. Um, my ravens and o's and crabs and bows. Uh, and I moved to Utah in fall of 2017 to start graduate school here. Uh, what do I like about Utah? Uh, Utah has challenged me. I bought my first pair of hiking boots on my drive out here. And uh, I really love hiking now. I skied for the first time uh, last winter and liked that a lot more than I thought I would. It was scary at first, but I think I want to try it again this winter. Uh, my friends are trying to convince me to go camping before I leave uh, here. And uh, that just blows my mind that I would sleep in a tent overnight, but uh, I, I kind of like that Utah's challenging me. Oh my goodness, there's so many exciting things about this project. I think there are, are just an infinite number of questions that we can ask um, with all the data we're collecting, not just about the babies, but about moms and their families across time. Uh, some really important questions that we can answer with our research. Um, another thing that really excites me is working with doctors Liz Conrad and Sheila Kroll. Uh, they are just rock star women in the field and I'm really appreciative to have them as role models. Well, babies are just cute. Um, but I, I just think it's fascinating that almost four million women give birth each year in the United States. And while it is an incredibly beautiful process, um, it also brings a lot of challenges, both mental and physical, and we really don't know a lot about those challenges. Um, so I feel very passionately about working with this population so we can better understand women's strength and struggles across this really important life transition uh, so that we can better help them. And I also feel very passionately about working towards more preventative healthcare in our country. And uh, women are these amazing windows between generations. And uh, so a lot of the work that we can do with this study uh, can be preventative in nature. I'm, I'm interested in learning more about women's struggles earlier in their lives um, so that we can work with them to cope with those struggles, to grow from those struggles, and potentially prevent them from um, transmitting to the next generation.